cool. This is going to be my first time using the mixer since it's had its, uh, its plastic surgery. All brand new, brand new motor, brand new everything. So It's actually 320 wide this, so we've just got to follow what's there. Whereas actually the wall is only, that's probably about 250 at the most. There's our little trolleys. Um, Steals. Good beautiful morning. We are on a new job, and as you can see, it's a renovation job. We are it's Monday, the 3rd of April. End of the tax year tomorrow for all those self-employed people. And Alex is back. He's had a week off with Nia, and I ended up having a week off too. Nia got dropped off at the airport last night, didn't she? I did. Nia got dropped off at the airport last night. Yeah. Yeah. So he's off there in July, I think. Um, anyway, back to the job in hand, which is. Let me step back here. This pillar is going to be extended to 300 mil. This is coming out. There's going to be a pillar through the door and then the steel's going across here. This is the old back of the house. What you see through the door is an extension. So all this is coming out. I think that's coming out too. But as we're in the extension here, you can see this is the old back of the house and the steel's in already. So we're going to strip all this ceiling out, see how we're going to prop this. Uh, what else are we doing? There's a bit of demolition work somewhere else, I think, upstairs. I'm not sure about that. The other job is that's coming out. And this is blocked up because it's block and block because it's rendered. I'll just show you this extension brickwork. What do you think of that? It's been a brick on brick. It's sort of going to go in the extension. Obviously you can't tell on camera, but this is a very bouncy floor. So I don't know what's under here. A poorly done timber floor. So we've got five acros, no, five strong boys, haven't we? Uh, yeah. We've got four adjacents, one of Robbie's. The rest we'll have to hire. We've got eight acros of our own. We've seven got seven on the today. van. And um, this is the first video. You're probably going to see at the beginning of the video. We are now officially sponsored by Milwaukee. So you're gradually going to see our tools turning red now. This is the first power tool we've had off them, which is a cracking little hoover. Here's the battery, here's the tools. Runs on the 18 volt batteries. Pretty powerful as well. And it's a wet dry vac as well. So we'll be putting that through its paces. There'll be plenty of dust in here. So here we are. We've also got um, a 30 metre tape as well, which is really good. A lot better than the other, the other one we had. So, we're going to get ourselves organised to get this ceiling stripped out so we can see where we're propping. And then wait what we need for this door. Then we can nip off. Pick up the acros and strong boys we need, pick up the blocks, and we've got standard cement in the van. <coughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for now. We've got one socket to work off, <coughs> one life socket, we've got a bit of running water, so I should imagine the toilet's working upstairs. Hope so. So yeah, nice big living room, that. And it's the first beautiful day of the year, <laughs> and we're working inside. <coughs> so yeah. Let's get it on time lapse, get our PPE on and start necking the ceiling out. Right, we've had a bit of a, made a bit of a mess. So, just 
put our little Milwaukee light on. You get a bit of a theme going there now. Yeah. Right, there we have it. We have a ceiling, dropped underneath the ceiling. And there's our original joists running the wrong way for us. So we're gonna have to prop in there. Hold it up from there. I haven't took the other side out yet, I'm just showing you the side for now. And then for some reason there's a little steel there, which we didn't know about. Nice big hole drilled through it for the electrics. Don't know why that steel's in there. I don't know if it's original or what, but um, I think we're going to have to get the structural engineer back out now. To have a look at that, because nobody knew about that. This steel here. They put a steel in and drop the ceiling to cover it. Oh. Let's have a go along here, and then this side, where they've broke through into the extension, we have what you call a big effing joist. That must be the wall plate for the, um, no, it can't be for the roof, that must be just with the ceiling joists. You see it's all bits of crappy old bits of timber they've used, nothing been done properly. Just uh, this stuff isn't even plaster. Well, that side wasn't plasterboard, it's like fiberboard. You just see the distance there. So, yeah, we've got these two steels in, which um, are at different heights completely gobbed up. And then you've got looks like roof and felt up there, bits of tiles that you've packed it. So Obviously we're going to come underneath those steels, but I haven't got a clue how we're going to prop those steels up. Because you've got this either side of it, you've got that massive thing, and you've got the joist this side. So, there goes the GoPro. So yeah, it's a weird one that, I don't know what's going to go on here. Sorry, there's a light. Two pretty small steels in there. Nicely painted though. This is the old back of the house. Got a pad stone in there. So I think because of that steel there, we're gonna have to get the structural engineer back out, have a tidy up and see what he says. So, so I'll go in the kitchen bit now and take that ceiling down, see what we've got that side and get back to you in a bit. There's something down there. Yeah. Pipes in the way. Oh, this has been cut off. We need the wall, don't we? Yeah. We need to get 300 mil in here. Got tape measure. Taking everything else up. Yeah, it's a screw in there, isn't it?
with the bit here. Is that filled? Yeah. Anyone got a clue what's going on here? Pipe running through there. The brick just sat randomly there. Here's the original wall here. Pipe's running through. Another brick with a very loose floor joist sat on it because that's going to have to come out. Yeah. So, just, just keep cutting. Like I say, we've got to build a pillar here. Got to extend this out to 300 mil. That's the plan today because we don't know what's going up or up there now. We're going to concentrate on this and the door so we can get that done today so we've not wasted our time coming here today and then we're going to have to take a pause and get the structural engineer back out so i'll hand that to alex let's get this thing cut off this is great this can't beat it we've had this a while this now it's never let us down this this is the 12 volt Wall. Right, my well, best day and Mikey can do some talking then. So, we found the walls at least. One there, one there. And on this side, there's a subfloor. So, but anyway, that's not as important. The main thing is we have, we have our wall. So, we're going to clear all this loose crap out, gob it up a little bit, and uh, we're going to do it in block flats. And then, as we go up, we'll, uh, once it lines up with the brickwork, we'll take the brickwork out and bonded in and that'll be our pillar so that should be should be nice and straightforward we'll see first bit that's straightforward in the whole job yeah it's 24 block and 24 seven block and we'll have to cut it down do it outside can't we yeah but we need more than 24 actually because we need to bond it in don't we Call it, thir call it 30. Let's use bricks to bond in. Get some common bricks and bond in with brickwork. Like the, the bonding course in brickwork for a couple of courses and then back to block. Can do, yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go. So, I think in a minute then we'll be off to Fairwoods. Grab all this stuff and then while he makes a start with the door and all that, I'll clean up all this junk. And then we'll, um, I'll help him crack on. So we'll uh, probably see you at Fairwoods after a break. Hello. Hello. Let's get these blocks in, shall we? Text the word fix first any message. Or you can direct message me via the fix radio app. First one of the week, uh, it's the Holland Horning, the 10 minute warning for the pub lunch quiz. Those questions coming along in around 10 minutes time. Now for all trades people all over this wonderful country of ours, this tune is for you. It's Tina Turner and the best. Sorry Clive, I'll get copyrighted when you on. But yeah, fix radio on at 12 o'clock for us. Alex is at his dinner. 
We've had a long, Hectic. we've had a bit of a waste of time, haven't we? We've forgot our common bricks, but I can go back to McGull for him. All that just so he can have his bacon button. Anyway, we're here. I've knocked all this off. I've been at this 36 years now and this is another first for me. It looks like the door used to be here because that's a that's a, a clean jar that. that's not been chopped off so I'm guessing the back door was here in this area. We've still got a wall underneath which we can build off but this is solid concrete it looks like it's been cast. If you look here you can make out the the timber pattern in the concrete and then you've got a lot mark there with the it's been shuttered. So that has been shuttered and concreted and it looks like they've cast the pad stone in situ as well. So obviously that needs coming out. The only th way I can think of propping this up is... <sighs> obviously this false ceiling has got to come out all the way across here so we can prop the course above the steel. This steel. But we've got a big lump of timber here so there's no way of getting in to prop that without going up into the room and across which we don't want to be doing so I'm thinking of getting some angle angle brackets here fix them into this timber put a few in here with some nice big bolts so they're holding that steel up I don't need to fix into the steel because it's not it's not going anywhere and then we're going to prop this piece of timber up which will in turn have the brackets which will prop the steel up and then we're going to come underneath that with our steels that's the plan anyway but as I say we're on stock now because we're waiting to see let me get the torch just recharge this we've got this steel here very small but I'm guessing it's been put in to take the bounce out the floor see the joist sits straight on top of it and what a mess all this like this false ceiling is a right mess I'm pretty sure it's put in just to go over the steel that they've put in so it's probably better for the customer they can take the ceiling right back up again but yeah so that's going to make it hard for me now to then cut in with the grinder yeah a couple of vertical a couple of horizontal cuts as we go and two then as we go so now time to turn it turn all shut up and then well let's move all this this we're getting the grab wagon here so this stuff can't go in a skip so we're going to put this the big stuff in here and the small stuff we're just going to pile against this wall we'll put, probably put the mixer in this room uh, this I've just checked the uh, drawing this wall's coming out as well but um, we can't just assume it's not load bearing because this is the house of horrors the joists oh, are the joists running that way or are they running that way I think they might be running that way if so that's fine yeah here's house of horrors yeah, so that, I've just checked pillar steels all this is coming out and all that's coming out so obviously it's going to be a massive big kitchen dining room so while Alex clears all this crap up we've got all the materials now for the common bricks we're gonna well I'm gonna whip this door off turn this torch on there we go which is just a few grabbers I'll explain what a grabber is to anyone who doesn't know later I realised that on last video I was talking about grabbers and I didn't explain what they were so that looks like a straightforward takeout yeah <laughs> everything looks straightforward so once that's out, Alex is going to drop on this. I'm going to drop on the pillar. Um, am I just loading the box out this side? Um, you. I mean, you may as well, it's filled them both from this side. I think the range is a bit knackered there, mate. I think it's a little bit, yeah. So you won't be able to build it all from this side, will you? You want to leave yourself a couple in there to top it off. Mm. So, um, what do I do about this part? You just build up to the window. Hmm? You just build it up like flush with the window, like you do in a normal job. You just you don't well, return the, it. The second skin. Yeah, you just build it up like normal. You've got, you mean, can like, probably uh, just get a long straight edge and plumb. Should I leave like. Um, it's, it's, oh, uh, so if it's just being bricked up to it completely, yeah. Yeah. So it's, is this. So is this. Yeah. So do I, am I leaving like any ties here or something? Or? No, it's a window, isn't it? So it stays in a window? It just stays as a reveal, you just carry on up as you are and you can plumb, so plumb, plumb it up, plumb right. edge. Okay, no worries. Um, this one won't come out. Yeah, that one's coming out, don't worry about that. That one's popping off. The tiles won't popping off, the cavity won't open it up. But I'll be doing all this while you're tidying up in there. You can always drop on and help me anyway. Yeah. So 
So they, as you can see, it's a very small kitchen. Alex sticks his arms out. What's your span? Six foot? Six foot two. So his span's the same as his height, so he's about, mm -hmm. he's got about seven foot wide. So it's opening right back to behind him and right out. So it's going to be worth it, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of hiccups on this job so far. Not for us, but for the customer. Like the floors are all shot. And there's, a, there's issues upstairs as well, but we're not doing it upstairs. That's the Robbie's department. But they're currently on hold with this job too. This, this is where this extra seal comes in. That wasn't originally on the job. But now it is to hold up there. I might show you later what sort of it's a it's a right it's a right mess. It's another one of those jobs where it's just been really cobbled together badly. See that that's that's a window they've done away with. And they've just bricked up the outside and rendered it. Just see the bricks through the window and not bother to do this side of it. But anyway, let's crack on and get Clive back on. There's a piece of timber nailed across there, so when that's come out, it's gone right across. Get the state of it. So, that's that. Door's all loose except for, you can just see through there, a couple of screws. So let's get the trusty torque on There you go. Just make out the screw there. There you go. That's one. We've got a lot of key for the windows. We can't unlock the window, so I'm guessing the screws are through, screwed through from this side because there's no screw heads on this side. These screw heads are these are to hold the locking mechanism in. So, well, I think they are. We'll see anyway. Yeah, so it's quite loose now. It's loose at the bottom, loose at the sides, but it's still screwed to this frame. So I'm going to have to cut that with a metal blade. Yeah, so um, whip that out. That door will come up quite easy. That can go over there. With the cooker, and then once Alex is finished tied up in there, he's going to jump out, load this out, and get cracking on this. I'm going in there on the pillar. It's getting on for half twelve now, so we've, we've, we've lost a couple of hours this morning, as usual. So we're pushing at the end instead of pushing at the beginning and have an easy finish. But anyway, that's our job for today: door and pillar. And let's carry on. Uh, we interrupt the Clive Holland show to give you a quick update. All right, the blinds down. Another bit of timber went across, so that's all gone now. I'm started on the cavity. That came out easy because it's the thin lights. This is a bit harder because it's every other course is. No, that's it's, it's less than every other course. So what we're going to do is cut a line up here. It should pop out a lot easier then. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day trying to get this out with the uh, with the um, breaker. With the breaker. Um, yeah. So I'm going to cut it, and while I'm cutting it, I don't want to put this water suppression on because it'll just flood the place. So Alice is going to hold the blower for me and just blow the dust out that way. So it doesn't matter. It goes in there because well, look at it. It's derelict. Not derelict. It's a shell. I think it's a shell. I'll leave that in. Um, yeah, and then we use this little rascal, trusty multi tool, just to cut the floor back across here. We could use the recipo, but um, we don't know what's below there, so you never just cut in when you don't know what's underneath. So um, that's the plan. We use that thing a bit safer because we need to take the floor back to get to get at the inside skin. So we have full cavities open, inside skin to work off, and then we can put insulation in as we go. Then, which we've got in the van or we've got in the house somewhere. So, uh, so we'll get the this cut done first. No, we'll get the multi-tool done first because it's going to be covered in dust. Then we'll do this. 
So there you go. Like you gave me Tetris? Hey? Like you gave me Tetris? Oh. Well, this one's to be called Tetris. There, I lost the cup. Right, one second. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see now, the door is out, and we're about seven eighths of the way of getting our cavity cut out. Uh, yeah, so obviously, give me double skin, block, insulation block, all the way up. Never leave that in. No, never leave that in because if you're doing what we're doing and we're going, we're blocking up the cavity wall, you want to make sure that cavity continues through so there's no cold, bri no cold bridging or damp. I keep going on about cold bridging. I keep forgetting to explain stuff. Cold bridging is where this solid wall meets this solid wall. It's only got a damp course. That stops the damp coming through, but it doesn't stop the cold transferring through the wall into this wall. That's a cold bridge for the cold to get from the outside to the inside by this. So by doing away with this, we, we carry the cavity, cavity wall insulation right through to meet up with the original cavity wall insulation. So doing away with the cold bridge. Keeps the house warm. Yeah, warmer. Yeah, and every little bit helps with insulation at the moment. It's like for an extra half hour knocking this out, it's just done properly. Let's get this last one cut out. Aye. Oh, this is going to be my first time using the mixer since it's had its, uh, its plastic surgery. All brand new, brand new motor, brand new everything. So thanks to uh, Hodgins for getting that ordered and sent out. <laughs> oh, that's better. Miles quieter. Right, Ooh. it's a tough day when you've got a sore leg. There you go, that is ready for me to start. Alex is just currently finished, it's just past our, uh, about 10 past four. So I've got a bucket of water to use up there, so I'm gonna get this pillar set out. It's actually 320 wide, this. So we've just got to follow what's there, whereas actually the wall is only, that's probably about 250 at the most, where those steels are. But we've got to follow that up straight and then we'll sort the Pad things off the top. So I actually just brought his stuff back, so I just need the. Spot balls, No, I don't actually, because I'm going to be down on my knees, aren't I? Okay. 
that wheelbarrow at the back needs bringing in, mate. And those blocks need passing in. Sorry. Blocks need passing through the window that I've cut. What blocks? And that wheelbarrow needs bringing back the blocks that I've cut. Oh, there's still some up there. Yeah. So every every other course is a full block. Every other piece is a piece. So there's two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, three, six, nine, twelve. 22 items in that wall and one two three four five a full block yeah everything else is a cut so i've been cutting for ages and ages so all these are cuts there's just uh, five more full blocks coming in obviously they're in the way because we're passing through the door so they're going to be moved back brushed out sorted out and then that can be back when we come back which will be after the engineer it's been uh yeah cavities all ready to go we'll come back tomorrow no, when the engineer comes, we're done now till the engineer decides what to do with that steel. Do we not want to get the, um... We're booked in the Jason's tomorrow. Oh, are we? Yeah, we, oh. we told them we're going. Yeah, we're going back to the farmhouse, the, the um, Crumbly farmhouse, to do the extension, which you've probably seen on Instagram, the, they had a well in the corner of the foundation, 14 point, 11.4 uh, metres of concrete went in there. So yeah, we'll just take all the power tools away, we'll leave the acros, leave the strong boys, buckets and stuff, we just need tools for tomorrow, we're just doing brick work up to damp, so Jason get it slabbed, and then we can go back then when we're ready. So enough waffle, let's get this sorted out, get the damp course on and get the first couple of courses on, and then once I've got them on, I can tooth into it, which is going to be a pain in the ass because that's, that's concrete. Anyway. We just crack on, don't we? Just show me his um, handiwork. Saves me walking down the back. <laughs> there you go. That's his door blocked up. Nice one. There. That's I can hear the radio. There we go. And we, we only put half a mix in, so that's the leftover mortar. I'm glad there's no more leftover because it's about half four, isn't it? Ten to five. Even worse, ten to five. We're going to look at a job on the way home. A little job. Quite ready for a little job now. It's been a while. <laughs> Easier. Yeah. Using all this this bloody humping round. So yeah, I've got six on there. The damps down below the floorboards. You'll have seen that on the time lapse. There's our little trolleys. Um, got the steels. Got the steels. In. We're supposed to be getting delivered tomorrow. But we won't be here because there's nothing for us to do until that has been sorted out. Weird little steel. It's as if there's a there's bounce in the floor upstairs, and they put it in to take the bounce out of it. But we've got to put one in here as well because um, the floor's dropped upstairs. The walls are on the move. There's cracks everywhere. So yeah, um, I don't know where it, I think it comes off in line with this across there. Not sure if we get the drawing, but the steel isn't coming tomorrow. Well, if it is, we won't be here to accept it. I'm afraid. We'll have to get off on their own. But uh, yeah, when we come back, we can get that backed up. We'll bring some more insulation because that's um, not quite enough there. Um, have a good tidy up in there, good tidy up in here, and then we can start get, start getting on with the steelwork job, getting demolished and propped and things. The um, the joists underneath are on sleeper walls, so we can put planks on the floor and prop down onto them, and then they'll. The weight of it taken down as the sleep holes underneath both sides. Oh, yeah, I haven't taken any ceiling out of here yet because this is the extension. Hopefully, it'll be easy to prop on this side. It's looking like no, that's just a 2v2. Though. I thought the ceiling sort of seemed just went that way. We could prop it that way. Um, yeah, because there's not a lot to prop at the back because there's two windows above. Anyway. 
that's enough for off we'll get back to you when we get back to the shop which is who knows when see you then